Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a review on these brushes that were sent to me by the company, I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's E-I-G-S-H-O-W. I've seen it being pronounced Aisho. So they came in this brush roll, really nice, packaged, like each brush was individually packaged. Um, and it has like a little slot for each brush. I took the brushes out just to kind of save on time. And these are them. So it's 18 brushes. Uh, they retail for $62. Right now they're on sale for $32, I think. And I do have an affiliate code that I would be getting a commission from if you guys choose to use it. It would give you 15% off on the entire website. So that's cool. Um, so I filmed this look using the brushes I have slightly more makeup on than I usually do because I wanted to kind of utilize as many brushes as I can. Um, this particular set is called the Magician Brush Set and it's 18 pieces and it was in the shade Coffee. They had another like uh, one where the brushes were like this part was gray. I just like this one better. There was no strange smell to the brushes. I know it's like iffy sometimes when like you get brushes, especially from like newer companies, they have like this either like this paint smell, this plastic smell didn't have that smell at all and they're super soft I'll show you a few like this one this is the powder brush like look how soft and bouncy that is it does a great job of applying powder bronzer you'll see in the video I do um I do my makeup and I kind of talk a little bit about each brush so just a heads up it's a bit of a lengthy video because I wanted to cover the brushes and give you guys um, as much information and my input as I can so if you're interested, please keep on watching. Thanks. So I figured I'll start off with a bare face and I'll kind of walk through some of the brushes. Um, yeah, let's do that. So I have the brushes here. I took them out of their brush roll. They're just easier to kind of access this way. So let's just start. Uh, my skin is prepped already. I'm gonna go in with foundation. I typically do my foundation first. So I'm just going to put some on the back of my hand and I'm going to go in with their foundation brush. Uh, like I said, these brushes are not labeled, right? Which is not really, that, that's not an issue for me because sometimes a brush can be labeled for a specific uh, makeup application or whatever, but I'm one to kind of, I'll use it for other, um, like if it's for foundation, I might use it for blush. So you, so you get the idea. So I like this foundation brush a lot. Um, I feel like it really spreads the foundation out quick. Like if you're in a pinch and you need to do, you need to do your makeup like kind of quick, it gets the job done. My foundation is pretty much applied, blended out nice. There are, there, yeah, there's really, there's no streak marks. So that's definitely one of my favorite brushes in the kit that I am absolutely loving. Next, let's do some concealer. So there's two brushes you can kind of use for concealer. Actually, there's three brushes you can use for concealer. This one is more of like your traditional one. It's like a flat kind of paddle brush. Then you have these ones that are like, um, they're, they're not dense, but they're like thicker and they're very flexible. I favor these to like blend out concealer. I favor this one to apply it. And then this one too will also get you a nice kind of um, quick application of concealer. So it's pretty much whatever you're comfortable using. The last one that I showed would also do good as an eyeshadow brush, which was this one. But I'm gonna show you how these two brushes work as concealer, because this is more of what I would kind of use to apply concealer to the face. little setting powder if you're curious this is the one from the cream shop this um, powder brush is really nice it's 
so soft it's crazy this is good for powder this is good for bronzer um anywhere like anything you really want to apply a nice amount of like a light amount of powder it'll get the job done because it's so like flexible it's not gonna like you're not gonna put it on your face it's gonna be so concentrated so i'll just kind of so a couple of brushes you can use for bronzer if you want a more like detailed application of bronzer you can use this brush which is kind of pointed this would also do good for a contour or even a highlight it's very soft this one as well is going to give you a little bit more of a dense application this is good for bronzer this is good for blush so let's test it with some bronzer just using one from wet n wild again because it's not so dense and there's still some flexibility to it it's gonna be good for bronzer. So I'm just gonna take it and I'm going to go around the perimeter of my forehead. So that's a good one. Like I said, blush, bronzer. I'm gonna use this for my blush. This is kind of like your traditional blush brush. So this is nice. You can pat it or you can kind of just blend back. Very easy to use and gets the job done quick. In a sense, I feel like the brushes just, they do blending really well. I'm not sitting there and like working it onto my face. Um, obviously like I'm, I'm talking, but I'm getting my makeup done quick because I'm breaking down. Well, you know how the brushes work. So it can be used for contouring. It can be used for highlighting. Let's do a little quick contour. Just using my contour powder palette from Essence. It does a really good job of just blending. So that is face brushes done. There is one, um, okay. So this one in the set, the one that I said could be used for eyeshadow is all, like online. It's kind of recommended like for a contour for the nose. So let's try that out. I don't typically contour my nose, so I apologize if I'm just a little bit awkward right at the moment. So I'm gonna take that fluffy brush again and I'm just gonna go up and down the sides of my nose to blend it out. I think this brush did a nice job of applying it it had the lines like not too thick, not too thin, just exactly what I needed. And there you go, a more contoured nose. Again, it's not a step that I usually do in my makeup routine, but I wanted to give it a shot. Okay, then we kind of go into the eyeshadow brushes, um, the eye brushes. So you have your kind of crease brush, your eyeshadow brush to lay down, app, like eyeshadow application. This one is good for smudging out like um, underneath the lashes. You have your eyeliner brush, eyebrow brush. We'll go into the eyebrow brush. I don't think I'm gonna use all the brushes on my eyes because I, I'm just not gonna do that right now, but they can definitely be alternated into, you know, to be used for your eyes. So I'm gonna go with my Anastasia brow powder and I'm going to just fill in my brows. This is a nice um, brush. It's pretty like, it's pretty stiff so that when I go to outline the bottom of my eyebrows, it does it very nicely, it does it quickly and it deposits just the right amount of color that I need. Oh, you know what? There is a spoolie brush in here. It would come useful instead of me putting my finger in there and blending it out. It's just gonna take the Night Owl palette from ColourPop and we'll do a quick eye. I'm gonna take this light 
shade here and I'm going to use the eyeshadow brush again. Um, this is like the, this is like your traditional kind of eyeshadow brush. And just lay that down. I will go in with this um, like crease brush. And I'm just gonna focus the color in my crease. It is a good size for my crease, the crease of my eye. This brush, which so you can use it to smudge underneath, but let's see how it applies the shadow on top. A sort of like a slim, like a bullet brush. I'm going to take that and I'm going to actually pick up a little bit of a darker brown. I'm going to line, like smudge line my lash line. Then I'm just going to take the eyeliner brush and I'm going to line the eye. This eyeliner brush is really nice. It gives you a nice straight line. So if you're using a gel, a powder, and let's say you don't really have a steady hand, as long as you kind of anchor your, either your elbow or your hand somewhere, or your pinky, let's say to your face, it'll keep the line straight. So for those of you who struggle with just getting a straight line, you can see like it's not skipping or anything it just it stays where you put it and where you pull the the brush so i'm gonna finish my other eye and i'll be right back all right did some mascara last but not least is lipstick so the brush that came here with lips well there's two you could use this one or this one I like this one because it's a little more flexible and I like how it kind of comes in like a pointy tip. So we're going to do that with a red lip. So my thoughts overall, I think the brush set is really nice. I think that for the price, you get a lot of brushes. Um, if before the sale, it's $62, I dropped one, you get 18 brushes. So if you divide that up, it's about, I don't know, a little under $3 a brush which I think is a great deal. Now, I do have an affiliate code that can save you 15% on top of that. So you're more than welcome to use it. If you don't wanna use it, that's totally fine too. Um, the way that works is if you do use it, then that, you know, I make like a, a small commission off of it, which in turn does help out my channel, it helps me to bring out more content for you guys. Um, I do have favorites in the brush. I'm dropping everything. The face brushes, I would have to say, are my absolute favorites. Like, I, I can see myself reaching for these kind of on the daily. Um, the eyeshadow brushes are pretty good. I like the eyeliner brushes a lot. I loved the... Let me show you. I liked the eyeliner brush very much. This is good for like spot concealing. I didn't have to do spot concealing today though. The lip brush was great. That is, that's a staple, especially like whether you wear lipstick every day or like if you're a makeup artist, you want a good brush that's cut nicely. Um, thank you so much for watching guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye.